In the last couple of episodes, we focused on the hardware, the computers that DITs use. And that's what everybody likes to talk about, what motherboard and, and how much RAM and the hard drives and the software and the connections and oh, okay. But what people don't like to talk about is this. And this is what keeps you and those computers working throughout the entire production. So we're fortunate today to have Mindy, the person who owns those kits we saw in the last couple of episodes, back in town again. She's in the shop, and this time we've talked her into bringing in her kit. Now, not the computer kit, but the kits that support those kits. Mindy is a Union 600 DIT out of North Hollywood and has worked on a myriad of shows. Anything you can think of, she's worked on. So, what this kit contains is years worth of experience of stuff that you need to bring on set. So without further ado, Mindy, why don't you jump into this and let, let's find out what you've got hidden in all these bags that's going to support you. And I'm going to turn it over to you. Thank you. So let's break this down. You are not always going to be in a city conveniently located near a computer's parts store. Some locations are a five hour drive away and that's only in one direction. You can't stop for anything. So hence, we have the bags. This bag here is set up for your computer internal, cables, backups, power, everything you need for the internal. This bag is a quick grab bag. It has all the cables for your hard drives and other peripherals you'll be attaching. And then this one is your clean bag. In this day of COVID, you need to have gloves, masks, sanitizer, and everything else. And then, some days, if you are working on location outside, it might start like a sunny day, but you'll get all three seasons in that 18 hour period and you need to be ready to work. All right, so let's start digging into this first bag. We'll get these other ones out of the way. Okay, so extras for your wall plugs. Yeah, Q-taps for your wall plugs, because sometimes you need to share. And then extra cables for all connections in case something fails. They'll also be handing you hard drives like nobody's business. Some have been kicking around in closets forever. You never know what you're going to get. And then extra HDMI connections for your screens, as well as extra power cables. And then for onset quick fixes, extra screws for hard drives, rubber feet to steady things. These little bubbies you really, really need. If you're in wet environments, moisture tends to collect inside of a computer. Stuff these inside little cooks and crannies and this will help prevent moisture from building up and possibly causing your system to shut down. These little gel packs can be found inside your shoes, clothing, and any other items shipped to you. Variable sizes, twist and zip ties for organizing all of your cables. And then to secure things down, Sticky Velcro. Keeps things from sliding around. All important, goo gone. Or any kind of uh, oil surface remover. Good for all of your adhesives because there's a lot of tape. And then of course, little Velcro straps for quick and easy binding of things together, again, Dirt and dust is not your friend. You'll be working on beaches, out in the forest. You want something to help with cleaning off your gear and the occasional screen cleaning. But always make sure it's safe for screens. Claws. You need to clean things. You will be constantly wiping things down. Again, dirt, dust, sand, animal hair. It all happens. 
bring a variety to wipe things down in case things get wet, especially if it's a wet set. Things to clean off, especially with your goop. And then finer towels to get all that dust and grime out. Toe warmers. You can use both hand and toe warmers. You could be working in extremely cold temperatures. For you personally, you need something to help keep you going in the day and make you more comfortable. But also sometimes hard drives don't like to function below certain degrees. Slap these on the hard drive, it'll keep it warm and functioning in very cold temperatures. So from internal parts that you need for your computer, let's go to the quick grab external parts for your hard drives. So the on-set quick grab bag is just as it sounds. Everything you need on set to quickly grab. And it's a lot. First up is cables, lots of cables. Never assume that the hard drives or card readers will come with the necessary cables, or if it does, they will function. This is full of USB cables, all types, USB-A, B, 3, 3C, even printer USB cables, as well, Firewire, Thunderbolt 2, and 3. You need them all. These small lithium batteries are great charging cell phones, wireless systems, even running small LED lights when you're stuck in a dark corner. Next is a tool kit. You need a tool to take anything on your kit apart while doing repairs or modifications. Screwdrivers, pliers, hex wrenches, a multi-tool. Oh, these tools never get loaned out or leave your sight. This bag has spare card readers, USB hub, and the associated cables. You may think they are only going to shoot with cameras that you were told. Then someone walks in with cards from a drone. The production is going to give you a two-way radio. If you're close to set, you can't have the radio on unless you have an earpiece or headset. They are cheap and the earpieces will fit your ear. Wearing headsets can be irritating on long days. Get your own that fits your ears. And speaking about headsets, you will need a good set of over-the-ear headphones, full coverage. Like the radios, you can't have your speakers working while they are trying to record sound on set. Oh, and get a spare pair of ear covers for the talent when they want to listen to a line. I always keep a spare set of earbuds as well, just in case something goes wrong with my headphones. Protecting the camera cards when they are moving between camera and your workstation is critical. These little pelican style cases are perfect for all sizes of camera cards. They are waterproof. Now I like to carry HD splitters. Now yes, times be a changing, but these come in extremely handy when you need to hook up a monitor or two more. Next I wanna talk about expendables. Expendables are items that you use on set and throw away. Now these are provided by production. You will need a list of everything before you start hand it off to them and they will get it to you. But it's really good to have some on hand until they get what you need. Sometimes they don't always have it on day one. Expendables include the tape we saw earlier and office supplies, clips and paper clips of various sizes. Markers, both permanent and wipe off. Several tip sizes are preferable and several colors. The non-permanent markers and pens are for marking the camera mags. And canned air. Dust and dirt gets everywhere. Card readers are not happy campers when full of set junk. And the third bag. Now this is more stuff that is good to have but you don't necessarily have to have on set. Most of the time this bag sits in the back of a truck. In this case, we do have a label maker. Day one you will definitely need this to label everything. Label often. People will be handing you stuff left and right. The only way to keep organized. There are many types of label makers, so find the ones that suit for you. Robocups, lifesaver. Great for liquids to hang off your kit, especially if people come visiting you and they have their own cups. This helps prevent them from putting it onto your workstation. Tape, you will need a lot of tape. Depending on how many cameras, how many days, you will have a bit of a rainbow. 
extras are good to have because there will be days you will go through a lot. In our days of current COVID, we of course need certain supplies to protect yourself. These ones again are expendables. Productions do provide these, but it's good to have some on hand straight from day one. Speaking of more tape, so paper tape, electric tape. These are for good for hard drives. Neither one will leave sticky residue, nor will they damage walls and areas. Screen cleaner. Make absolutely sure it is rated for screens. And then of course, a little extra holding for things off to the side. Hangables are very nice because then it can hang off of your kit. You can put extra things in here that you need for the day. And lastly, power cords. I highly recommend you bring your own. Power department does supply them. They're called stingers, but sometimes they can be extremely beat up. Sometimes not the most reliable. Right, bringing your own, you know what condition it is and you can roll out immediately without having to track them down because remember, they are helping every department. As you've noticed, I have clear bags. All of my bags and pouches are see-through. This one here is a makeup bag. It's so much easier to find anything you need much faster if you can see into the bag. There is nothing more frustrating than barfing the entire contents of a bag to look for one cable. With this way, I can quickly look, even before I'm going on a job, and make sure I have everything I need. Great for organization and a time saver. Last but not least, emergency gear. You are gonna be working in elements sometimes. You're gonna want something for every weather. Like I said at the beginning, it can be sunny one minute, but then you could go through all the other seasons in an 18 hour period. You need your all weather gear, keep you warm, dry, I really love these mitten type gloves. It has a wonderful hood to cover your fingers and you can put a heater pad inside of these to keep them digits warm. And then you can pull it away so you can expose your digits to a little fine tuning. Snow gear, which also can double as rain gear, funny enough. But again, wherever you are, you can't just stop. So these are great for sliding on. And then rain gear. Highly reflective is preferred. Sometimes it'll be really hard to see or it's nighttime. Being able to spot you in the darkness is a must. Just stay out of the way of the camera. And then in your bag, layering is key. Always have extra sweaters. I like to have them a little big so that they can flop right on whatever I've got. Towels, again, you're gonna have wet sets or snow this is fantastic to have to dry yourself off. Plus, accidents happen. And then your usual pants, shirts, other layers, extremely handy. When it gets cold at the end of the day, a lot of times to help warm you up, replace the under layers. Extra socks and then personal items, toothbrush, toothpaste, whatever you need. Sometimes I have been on locations where we got snowed in and couldn't leave, so we had to stay there for the night. Be prepared for any situation. Well, I bet you didn't think a DIT would need all this stuff, but it keeps you and your kit running on a daily basis. Long hours, long days on set, and you really need to be comfortable. So think about what you're going to need. And obviously, you see here, this kit comes out of a whole lot of encounters, maybe days when you went, Geez, I wish I had that with me. Yeah, oh, the key the, is to take care of yourself. Uh, one of the things I, I noticed you had some, some zip, extra Ziploc bags mm -hmm. and this huge Ziploc bag called a bagget. Tell us about that. So Ziploc bags, great for putting little things in to keep them safe from all the elements. Really handy to have. Bagget, it's a big enough cover that can fit your entire kit, especially if it rains and snows. This is a quick help to keep things dry and safe. Now for long term, I highly recommend a pop-up tent, tarp, or umbrella, but in a pinch, this will work. And it's right there at the ready. Well, thank you, Mindy, very much for bringing in all your kits and sharing the stuff. This is really, really helpful. Now, down below is going to be a link to a spreadsheet that's going to have a lot of this stuff listed so you can have a checklist to build your own kit if you just so desire to do that, at least a starting kit to work from. Now, if you like this material, of course, we say please 
hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. There's a whole lot more coming. Uh, it's focused on what we do on a daily basis on set. And as always, hope to see you on set.